believe it or not, I really didn't follow video game releases. And I generally didn't know what I was going to get for Christmas. Some, you know, I have some kids kind of have an idea or their parents tease them. I, I never really knew. So usually I really didn't get to anticipate anything specific for Christmas. One year though, I asked for a video game system and I knew I was going to get that video game system. And oh man, I was out of my mind with like feverish anticipation. I was so excited to finally get my hands on this. You can, you can, you can make fun of me all you like, but I am actually talking about the Tiger Gamecom. Now you may not want to believe this, but the Gamecom actually was kind of forward thinking in some ways. I mean, it had a touch screen, it had built in functions, it could connect to the internet, and it really wasn't a bad system. I mean, the biggest drawback as a piece of hardware was the screen refresh rate, which is absolutely terrible. It makes some games, such as Defender, like pretty unplayable. The biggest problem with the Gamecom was the games. And even though Tiger was able to secure some really nice licenses, such as Sonic the Hedgehog, Duke Nukem, Resident Evil, and there were there was even adaptations of Metal Gear Solid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night in the works for the Gamecom. All the games were developed in-house by Tiger, so Resident Evil 2 wasn't made by Capcom, it was made by Tiger. And while Tiger may have been king at making those cheap little LCD handhelds, boy did those people have no idea how to make real ROM-based video games. So you might say that my anticipation was ill-placed, it's all hindsight, but man, if I'm being honest, there are very few video game things I look forward to with such anticipation as I did the Gamecom. A big part of this is because I love handheld gaming and I always have. But the Gamecom was also my first major step into unknown territory. It was the first time I really wanted and played a system or a video game that none of my friends were talking about and I didn't know anyone else was playing. And that joy in exploration and discovery in video games is the primary reason why I still play to this day. And it's the primary reason why I continue to make YouTube videos. It may sound weird, but the Gamecom was my first step off the beaten path.